Hi everybody, welcome to the second part of this video dedicated on the uh, Quang Ren Macro Twin Light Cakes 100 uh, Flash, which is a macro flash uh, branded by uh, Laowa, at least here. So if you're interested in uh, uh, the video description or on uh, on the field test of this uh, flash, I suggest you watch the first part of this video, which I link up there. If you already <coughs> own this flash or are planning to purchase it, I suggest you uh, keep watching this video because I'm gonna show you how to build for a couple of uh, bucks, uh, a very easy uh, light diffusion soft boxes uh, that you uh, are gonna be able to uh, fix on uh, your uh, flashes and which will of course at least i hope uh, create a way more interesting uh, lightning a softer light on the shiny subjects that you probably shoot if you are uh, doing macro photography as bugs or uh, flowers so what do you need for that you first need some uh, kind of tupperware uh, boxes i found those one in a very big uh, swedish furniture uh, store uh, the most important thing is to try to find some uh, tupperware with a flat surface uh, at the top so you will be able to come uh, stick your diffusion material at the end so i chose uh, two kinds uh, of uh, boxes the first one is round and a little bit uh, uh, stiffer than the uh, the other one which is uh, squared uh, I think I'm probably make uh, one of each for this flash uh, because this one is gonna produce a way uh, stronger light more uh, centered uh, which are gonna which I'm gonna use to uh, light my subject directly and this one will probably have a more diffuse uh, light because the surface is bigger here and uh, I'll probably use to create a secondary lightning or even a, a light uh, the, for, the, for the background of your uh, image. So this is the first thing you need. Then you need some uh, tape. Uh, well, the standard uh, tape, black tape here, which I'm gonna uh, stick at the uh, outside of the box just to give it a more finish uh, aspect and another one which is a silver uh, mirrored uh, tape which you can find of course both of them in any uh, do-it-yourself stores or stuff like that so uh, this one is gonna come on the inside of uh, this box as you can see on this example here then you need some uh, diffusion material here i chose like a plastic sheet which is very thin maybe half a millimeter or even less uh, and which yeah let the light uh, goes through then some adhesive some glue which uh, is quick uh, here and uh, some uh, cable tie, uh, electrician cable tie that you can find as well in any do-it-yourself store. And that's all. So you'll see for a couple of uh, euros, a couple of dollars, you can build yourself some uh, great uh, diffusion. So the first thing you want to do is uh, to mark precisely where you're going to have to cut this plastic box. So the idea is to have the uh, head facing at the uh, inside of the uh, box to let the light bounce uh, on the uh, silver uh, tape that is gonna uh, be uh, on the inside of course this is the best way to diffuse light this is the way that uh, studio photographers or uh, portrait photographers use when they use umbrellas or softbox so uh, you want to place it uh, at the center of the box and mark it precisely where you're gonna have to cut it then you are gonna have to cut it uh, down enough to uh, make the uh, back of the flash uh, come just aligned with the top of uh, the uh, box so to cut this box I'm using a Dremel which is a cool tool which I love but if you don't uh, have one you can uh, probably use some uh, sharp knife or scissor or even a little saw to uh, cut this plastic uh, deep enough to uh, 
be able to place the head of the flash uh, just uh, aligned with the top of the box but not too deep otherwise you will lose some uh, reflection some distance uh, between the flash and the uh, bottom of the box So the next step is to uh, dig four holes, uh, two on both sides of the uh, hole you just uh, dug for your uh, flash head. The idea is then to uh, be able to uh, pass the uh, cable ties in them like this and uh, come then with your uh, flash head to uh, fix it. Uh, a little bit the tricky part to fix it like this uh, exactly uh, in order to have a, a solution that you can uh, easily take off if you uh, want to without uh, gluing the, the flash head so next part is to use your uh, silver reflective tape to cover the inside of the box uh, including the side of it uh, this is maybe the uh, longest part of this uh, do it yourself uh, diffuser boxes but well i suggest you take your time do it quietly and we'll uh, end up fine When it's done, you use the black rubber tape to cover the outside of uh, your box. Here you go. So this is the uh, final idea. Um, you'll probably do it way better than I, uh, but uh, then you have your uh, boxes taped both sides. Then you can cut your diffusion material, uh, of course, doing the shape of your box so next step is of course to tie uh, well your flash head facing down uh, toward the bottom of the uh, plastic boxes with the uh, cable ties uh, it's a little bit tricky but you'll eventually manage just make sure to tie them strongly so the last step is indeed putting some adhesive some glue on the uh, box and come to stick your diffusion material on it then want to wait some hours until it's perfectly stuck. Here I am again outside just to uh, try out uh, these uh, diffusion boxes I made. Uh, a night has passed, just enough to let the glue uh, dry well. But early this morning I noticed that I've done a little mistake building it because the boxes, the Tupperwares I used are a little bit too heavy for uh, the arms of this uh, flash. And then, well, the arms didn't stay well in place when you uh, set it up li like this. So I had to double the arms with uh, some iron wires and tapes to make them a little bit stronger and now it uh, works. But 
good advice if you uh, really uh, want to uh, try to build this setup at home. Maybe you should buy the lightest Tupperwares as possible, maybe even a little bit smaller than the one I chose, not to uh, encounter the same problem as I did. So we are going to try to see if the results are here. Uh, I mean, we want to check if uh, these soft boxes uh, do what they are supposed to do, make this uh, light uh, way sweeter, way softer, way more diffused. And uh, we'll see if we find out some flowers to photograph and to compare with the naked flash. So it's a little bit windy, as you can see, probably. Uh, but anyway, let's see if we can find something to uh, photograph. So I'm very happy with the result. Uh, I think the light is way, way more natural, way more uh, soft than uh, without the boxes. Then of course you'll have to uh, increase uh, the power of uh, the flashes. The little one on this shot was full power and the, the, the bigger one was uh, one quarter of uh, its full power. So basically you will have to wait longer for the, the flashes to um, charge but anyway I think the result is worth it because uh, you have a way way more uh, natural light. I'm uh, showing you now some other example of pictures I did today of uh, other flowers here so you can uh, see the, the differences with the uh, bare and naked flash uh, which I tested in the first part of this video. Then of course you can play with the disposition uh, of uh, the flashes and uh, try to find which suits uh, your subject uh, best. Uh, one on the right, one on the top, the other front, at the front, uh, whatever. Uh, with the power as well, you can play with it. So I'm sure you'll find uh, something you'll uh, like. So yeah, if I have to sum up about this one grand macro twin light cakes 800 flash, I would say that the flexibility that both of these arms uh, gives you is uh, very, very inter interesting in terms of uh, macro photography lighting. And uh, the downside would be, of course, you understood the uh, strong uh, harsh light that it produced. So I really suggest you find a way to diffuse it. If it's the case, if you uh, found a, a solution of your own, uh, please uh, let us know in the comment section. I, it's always interesting, I think, uh, for me and for the other people that uh, are interested in this flash to know how you manage to diffuse it. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. It's always great uh, encouragement for me. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you uh, haven't already. Bye, see you soon.